My name is William Oliver, and I'm an associate professor in electrical engineering and computer science. I'm a professor of the practice in physics and um, a laboratory fellow at MIT Lincoln Laboratory. Uh, but most recently, I'm the founding director of MIT's Center for Quantum Engineering. So my undergraduate degrees are in electrical engineering and in Japanese. I've lived in Japan for about three years. Um, and for my master's degree, I came to MIT and I worked with Todd Mack over in the Media Lab on a music project called the Brain Opera. And it was a fantastic project and you know, we got to show it all around the world. But, you know, after a couple years doing that, I realized that, you know, there was something that really interested me and, and you know, that was quantum mechanics. And so um, I decided to go to Stanford to work with Yoshi Yamamoto. What really motivated me was um, fundamental quantum mechanics, blue sky research. And what I was really interested in is quantum statistics and quantum optics with electrons and, and how they work. And there wasn't really any um, practical application of this at the time, but, but it was the, you know, the blue sky nature of the research that really drew me to it. And so, so I spent five, six years at Stanford working with uh, Yoshi. And after I graduated, I decided that, okay, I enjoy quantum mechanics and what I'm doing, but I, you know, I've always had this uh, ethos or streak that I want to do something fundamental, but I want it to be practical and real. Like, um, I don't want to do just, I don't want to do just a one-off experiment. I want to do an experiment really well. Um, I want it to be reproducible and robust. And um, at that point in time, in 2003, quantum computing was just starting up. And I thought, this is something I'd really like to try. But rather than go into a standard academic environment, I decided to go to MIT Lincoln Laboratory, which is a U.S. government lab. Um, it's run by MIT, it's part of MIT, but it focuses on a more of a systems approach to fundamental engineering challenges. And so for me, this was a perfect fit. I could study quantum mechanics, but at the same time, I was doing it with an ethos of actually building something and working towards a greater goal. And, and that has defined the last uh, 15, 20 years of my research. So for the first 10-ish years or so of my research, um, you know, quantum computing uh, for superconducting qubits, which is my field, but in general, um, was, was really just a scientific curiosity. You know, it was some you know, clever thing that you can do in the lab. Gee whiz, wow, look, these things behave quantum mechanically. You know, how long do they live? You know, that kind of thing. So five, seven years ago, there was a pivot. And that pivot was from you know, scientific curiosity in the lab to technical reality. We realized that these things, uh, these qubits could actually be, they actually work, and they could be built into larger systems and make quantum computers. Um, and so with that, a number of companies started to get involved. And we've seen more and more companies starting to, to jump in into the field of quantum computing. We've noticed that um, you know, governments around the world are investing more and more in quantum computing. And what we realized is that, in fact, um, we need, as a university, to, to develop um, a new engineering curriculum based on quantum computing and quantum information science. We need to train and educate a workforce to fill all these new positions that are being developed. And we also need to organize and coordinate the efforts um, here at campus and also between campus and industry. And, and that was the impetus for forming the Center for Quantum Engineering. 